Hello everyone and welcome back to our FPS RPG series. In previous episodes we've been working on the gunplay and getting you to shoot the gun. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to add an animation for the gun to be shot at as well as put a sound effect on that gun too. So let's jump in and take a look. So we're going to make our gunplay feel a bit better by adding some animations, visual effects and other things to it. So we actually have an animation for the gun being fired brought with us from the first one template. So we can use that for now. Um, obviously, it's better to replace this with your own one or a tweaked version to suit the gun you're holding. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into our gun. And in that gun, we've got the fire bullet event or function rather. And then this fire bullet is where we're going to play the animation. Now, the problem we've got at the moment is that this doesn't have an access to the person who's holding it so we need to go to the event graph and on begin play we've got get parent actor and we need to copy that and paste it and from get parent actor we now need to cast this to our particular player character so first person character but what we need are the first person arms so I want to promote that to a variable. And the reason why I'm promoting this to variable rather than the arms is that I can still access the arms from this. And so I can also access everything else from it. Whereas if I was just promoting just the arms, then I only have access to the arms. So it gives you a little bit more freedom in how you want to use this. So now we've got that reference, we can go to fire bullet and make this a bit tidier. I'm going to put this into a sequence and connect the line trace to then one. So then zero, we handle animation side of things. So we're going to drag out our first person character. From there, we get the arms. Uh, first person uh, mesh, there you go. And then from that, we're going to get the anim instance, which gets the animation blueprint, essentially. And then from there, we're going to type in montage. And you'll see in there, you can do montage play. Okay, so do montage play, plug that into then zero, and you choose the montage from the list. So I'm going to choose this rifle shoots montage for the arms. Hit compile and save there. Okay, so let's test this out and see if we can get the animation showing up in game. There we go. That's a good start. Next, I'm going to fine tune the like the sound that comes from the gun. So for the sound effects, you can use anything you like. You can record your own or you can find loads on the websites. Uh, so help yourself to find all sorts of things. Uh, one particular site I like to use is something called freesound.org. So if I just bring that up. It's not perfect. It does have a few like bad uh, sounds on here, but it has some pretty decent uh, selection in the, li in the library to use. So we'll just hear the like, musket, because that's what we're kind of looking like with the gun. So you see, these are just things people have recorded. See, I quite like that. I might have to shorten it. Quite like that. I wish maybe not the tail end of it. Uh, what's this one? Okay, I think we're going to go for. I think that one may be a bit too much, but we'll try it anyway. Um, so we need to make sure it's a WAV, which it is. If not, you can always convert it using some online converter. But we just download that sound, and there we go. So I'm gonna, as I want to bring that in. Oh, let's make a little folder for this first. Uh, we can go into effects, and we're gonna add new fo new folder for sound effects, and open it up, and we're gonna put that into there. There it is. Okay, let's just rename this and we'll do um, SFX 
musket shot. Okay. So the problem with this sound is, in particular is that there's a slight delay at the start. Okay, it's not instant as I want it to be. Uh, which can look a bit distracting. We want it to be instant. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take it out of Unreal and open up something called Audacity, which is a free piece of software you can just search online for. And it's really good and really easy to use. There you go. Uh, we'll skip the update. And we want to put in the sound effect in here. So I'll just drag that from my downloads folder. Hold on. And bring it in there. Okay. So I want to cut out this first bit here. So I'm just going to take my cursor, select all this, and I cut that bit out with the delete key. Now, I also need to do a couple of other things. I don't need it to be stereo. Um, they've recorded it in stereo. But when we output this out, we're going to output it as mono. Um, stereo just is not necessary for this sort of thing in the game. Um, but you test it out, and you see it's a lot more interesting. Okay. In fact, we'll probably cut off a bit of the sound here, but eh, actually, no, I'll leave it like that. And to make it go from stereo to mono, if you go up to tracks and go to mix, oh, select it first, tracks, mix, and then mix stereo down to mono. And it will combine the two together into one track. Okay. So once we've got that, we're going to file export as WAV. Uh, sure. And then I'm going to go back to my Unreal, right click on this, and then re import. Okay. So now I need to add that to my animation. So let's go to our gun. Uh, blueprints, gun, go to the animation. And on here, we're going to add the sound effect. So we're going to go to notifiers, right click on notifiers. I don't if I play sound. And I'm going to choose our musket shot. Yeah. Okay. Close that. Compile. Save. Right. Let's see what that feels like in game. Okay, not too bad. Um, might bring that a bit tighter. Like that. Not too bad. Now, at the moment, the sound is pretty boring because all it is is just one sound. Um, we're going to make that be a bit more adventurous and randomize a little bit about how the sound actually plays. So if we go back to our sound effects. And right click on this and we create a queue. We're going right to double click on this now. And here's a queue. Now the queue is a basic way um, of adding effects and changing like how the sound operates in the game. Now, MetaSounds is another system which is newer, has a lot more features, but for this purpose, we're going to do something very, very simple. So, we've just got the wave player for the sound effect here, going the output. The thing we want to use, though, is we want to go over to the right and use the F sound node for modula uh, modulator. Go drag that in, and you just hook it up to our nodes here. And you can see here on the left, we can set the pitch min, pitch max, volume min, volume max. And you can see it's already got random values. So when I click on play Q, it's going to sound slightly different every single time. Okay, and we can mess about with that as much as we want. So I can bring the pitch down to the point eight, for example, and okay. So you can get interesting little things in it. So let's put that now on our gun. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh. Back to the gun, back to the animation, 
And on the animation, I'm going to click on here and change this to the Q version of it. Save that. Okay, so we've got some basic animation, basic sound effects. Obviously, all this is placeholder until we get around to like, wrapping it all up and making it nice and tidy. We just want to have some sort of visual feedback about the gun being shot. Okay, cool. And there you have it. Okay, there we go. We can now animate and add sound effects. Now, as I mentioned before in the video, this is all placeholder. It all will be replaced probably down the line, but this is just to help us get a feel for the game whilst we're making it. So in the next episode, we're going to continue work on our gun to make it feel a bit more like it's alive by adding some aim down sight options for our character's gun as well. So I'm going to add an animation and show you how to animate using control rig and the sequencer and bring it into a custom animation. So if you want to watch the next part, you can watch it right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady, where you can find all my videos early before everyone else from just $1 a month. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.